Me and my twin. Dude, left side or right side? Yeah, I'm yeah. Right side, right hand. Whose idea was this? This guy. This guy for sure. But I agree. I yeah, agree. You know what I'm saying? You must have a flight to catch. Huh? You must have a flight to catch. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Can you both share what you've seen different from Lamar uh, this season? I just think he's coming in and... Oh, sorry about that. I think he's coming in. No, I just think he's about his business. Uh, you know, he's been out here working and day by day, and he's, you know, his approach to the game is, is definitely different. He's eager. He's ready to, to ball. He's ready to show everybody who he is. We all know who he is, and I think we're just all tired of yeah. the, the, the Lamar slander, but I know who he is. Yeah. He's wins. winning in uh, locker room basketball. Oh, it's, these are alley-oops, but if we're talking about who won our last horse game, that was me. That was me. Thanks. <laughs> that was me. But, one. Yeah, I'm up. I'm up one right now for sure to answer your question. Sorry, James. I, you, he asked both of you. What would have been your impersonate or impressions of Lamar? He kind of said everything. Like, kind of tied to slander. That's really it. You know what I'm saying? It's only been one Lamar Jackson ever in this league, and the fact that we just like not we, the media disrespects him the way they do is what I said earlier, barbaric. So, there we go. Rashad, that's what I was going to ask you. You said tired of the slander. How do you think? He just handles all outside noise wherever it's coming from. I think we all could tell that Lamar don't really care uh, about what nobody says about him. And, you know, being around him, I think that's something that I look up uh, to him uh, about, just, uh, you know, being a black man uh, in this world today. Uh, I think that's what we pride ourselves on most is being able to stand up for ourselves in times uh, when it's hard. And uh, he's a guy that definitely does that first class, and um, he definitely shows us that it's, it's okay to be us for sure. That's a great answer. Yeah. Hey, comparing with last uh, week and having Lamar, his presence, what does uh, make up for all the players here? His presence in the, in the group? I mean, he is our star quarterback, so uh, we would love to have him out here every single day. <laughs> Um, Lamar did talk a little about how chemistry is obviously important building with you guys, especially with the departure of Hollywood. How do you feel your chemistry with him is right now at the moment after this week? I feel like it's great. Uh, I think chemistry is important, like just as people, you know, like you, we can go out and throw all day. Uh, but the closer we get as people watching film, knowing each other's thinking, knowing each other's tendencies, what makes them tick, what makes them go, uh, how to get each other going when we're in a rut, I think that stuff matters more uh, when it involves in chemistry. So we just, that's an everyday grind, you know, and as the season goes, it's not just an off season thing. During the season, we'll keep picking that up and, you know, hopefully for years to come. Rashad, we talked to you before the draft at, at those off season workouts. Did you know that there was a possibility that Hollywood you know, could be on its way out at that point? Um, no. Uh, Actually, uh, you know, me and Hollywood are close. You know, we're all close. Um, well, obviously, we didn't know. You know, we found out later. But, you know, there's no bad blood. Uh, Hollywood's our brother. Um, we still stay in contact with him. Uh, I potentially even might even go down to his camp. That's something that we talked about. Just because, you know, uh, he's our brother. You know, uh, this league is a business, and you, you got to handle things to handle things. Uh, so we still communicate, and, you know, it's all good. We, we saw you make some beautiful downfield catches over the last couple of days. Do you feel like that's still a little bit of a slept on part of your game that maybe you look forward to showing off more this year? We'll see. <laughs> James, you're in line to, for your playing time to go up uh, since you've been here. Has it been frustrating the last few years that maybe you haven't gotten on the field as much as you'd like? I mean, yeah, it'd be frustrating for anybody just because you want to play. You know, that's why you work hard to play. But, like, the best thing that I've ever heard in my life just control what you control, you know what I'm saying? It almost makes me feel invincible in a point just because, like, God has a plan for me. It's already out there, you know what I'm saying? I just got to keep walking in those steps, keep working, keep my head down, and just keep grinding, control our control. So. Sean, speaking of slander, the wide receiver group has heard a lot of it this offseason, too, people doubting this young group. Just what's your take on that and how you respond to that in, in minicamp? I just want to know why us. I mean, that's like Ricky receivers everywhere going crazy and everybody gets it's talked about but us, but we embrace it. Uh, it's a challenge, but uh, we're learning from Lamar. We don't really care anymore either. It's just noise, yeah. just noise. Sean, uh, Martin said yesterday that you were sort of a leader in the, in the, uh, in the room. He said that you were more of a show by example leader. Is that has been always been your approach, show by example? Yeah, because I don't really, I don't really talk much, uh, talk a lot, but uh, hopefully I, I can show that by the way I work, uh, by, by being the first one here every single day, um, by, by working hard at practice, running routes, uh, studying film, whatever it may look like. Um, that's the role that I'm in. That's the role that I've always wanted to be in, and you know, I'm excited to you know, take that role. James, um, it feels like this receiver group has gotten especially close. There's pictures of you guys up a lot. 
is the outside questions kind of serve to bond you even further? No, we just really mess with each other. If we was all police officers, <laughs> if we were all reporters, we would have been hanging out, kicking it. You know what I'm saying? We just like I don't, that, was, that was just as a blessing. We got lucky. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of group of guys who really mess with each other, like outside of football. So that's just uh, just a plus. Has it been enjoyable for you with all the undrafted guys around to kind of be, uh, you know, kind of one of the elder statesmen of the group? Oh, yeah, that's been cool, man. Like, I always like like taking people with me wherever I go as far as, like, just picking a young guy up. I had that responsibility at SMU. Uh, so it was it was easy, especially with uh, uh, Bate and Dude, Jay, Ben, guys that have been here before, Tylen, to kind of, like, I mean, we don't have no egos with this, you know what I'm saying? We just want to win, get better. And, uh, you know, they said uh, tie rides all ships, so we're just trying to make everybody better. When Isaiah Likely was drafted, some people talked about him. He's, he's like a big wide receiver. Are you guys willing to give him that, that credit after some, some, of the, some of the catches he made? Uh, 100%. Uh, 100%. I, yeah, I've been <laughs> – so my, my little brother goes to Coastal Carolina. Shout out to Jacob Prochet. So I've been watching Isaiah since – like for like two years now. So I already knew what he, what he was capable of. Are you guys planning to go to Florida Atlantic with Lamar, and what are you guys looking forward to look for? Where would you get that from? Florida Atlantic? Where would you get that from? You just uh, – yeah, we, yeah, we're Denmark. going to Florida. Yeah, we're going to Florida. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Well, yeah, what do you plan on working on down there? Uh, just football. Yeah, just football. Uh, chemistry, like, like we said before, uh, timing, um, and just like team camaraderie, man. I'm telling you, that stuff matters. matters. Like Joe Burrow and, you know, Jamar Chase, y'all be sitting on that chemistry. That's because they, they close, you know what I'm saying? So that stuff, Aaron Rodgers, Jamar, all that, that stuff matters. So you got to uh, get closer. For both of you, your initial reaction when Marquise was traded and, and popped up that night already in Arizona, and then in turn, when does your mind set that this is an opportunity for myself? I mean, every day is an opportunity. You know, whether Keese is here or not, uh, like you said, that was a business move for Keese. Uh, you, know, you wish him the best. Like, I know he's going to ball out there. Uh, so we just, like, every day is an opportunity. We didn't look at it any different. Just kind of got to keep the same mindset no matter what the outside uh, extremities are. You know, just focus, you know, blind your zone, not worry about anything else. James, since last year you've been recognized by coaches that always, you're always the first person to come and practice and always the last one to stay. Is that kind of extra motivation that you get for this uh, season again? Man, me and Bay talk about this all the time. I just yeah. love football, bro. Like, I love my job. I love what I do. This is my 9 to 5 plus some overtime. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, some people in desks and cubicles or whatever they want to do. You know what I'm saying? Salute to y'all, but I'm going to get to play football. And I told y'all this last year, man. It's not going to change. Like, like, I'm super grateful. Like, I'm super blessed, man. And I, I wouldn't be wanting to do anything in the world right now. So. Yeah, I can agree. Just as an aside, I saw you kind of checking out uh, one of the field photographers, like cameras and stuff like oh, that yeah. earlier. And I saw you taking pictures on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Is this like a hobby or is this something you're interested in? Yeah, it's just a hobby, like real therapeutic. Yeah. I'm a perfectionist. And uh, I used to do di uh, digital. But in digital, you could take as many pictures as you want. Like film, I got 36 uh, exposures. And it is what it is at that point. I can't manipulate it. I can't change it. I can't control it. So it's kind of therapeutic, just kind of taking a picture and whatever happens happens yeah he so. made me get one yeah so yeah, yeah we like this yeah. like that for, for, for both of you guys what did you guys or what have you guys learned about what it takes to be you know the best run blocker you can be in this offense where you, know, you guys could have 40 50 carries in the game it's effort yeah, it's one two you know what i'm saying like block is just a fight like coach dub put it in perspective in great perspective if this dude's blocking you're throwing you around he's basically saying he could whoop you in a fight <laughs> so you can't whoop me, so we're going to block you. Like, that's just yeah, what exactly. it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of so. the mindset. Is either you're going to do it or you're not going to do it. And, mm -hmm. you know, when you care about your teammates, you know, as a receiver, you know, it's like blocking here and there. But, no, um, Lamar Jackson, our quarterback, we're going to block for him. Uh, whoever's our running back, Gus, JK, it doesn't matter. We're going to block for them. Uh, it's not a job. It's not about just routes or anything like that. Is you know, we're receivers. It's part of our job, and that's what we're going to do as well. James, what did you learn at your, uh, your month-long uh, wine internship? I hear you. One more time. What did you learn at your vineyard internship? Or oh, dude, that was amazing. Like, I'm not no Somali or nothing, but I know a little something, a little Grenache, a little Tempranillo, Zinfandel. <laughs> I know a little, you, you know something, huh? <laughs> yeah, so now, it was a blessing, man. Like, I pruned a whole row Grenache, probably 100 yards, uh, polishing glasses, maybe start over because of spots on them. Like, I did uh, barrel testing, lab work. I did everything. I'm going back in July just because – I got some props for y'all the next, you know, five, six years, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, we got to learn. I want to do it the right way. It's a long time. Yeah. yeah. It's patience, baby. Okay. Patience. Right. We good. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I got something that works for sure. Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate y'all. Yep. Thank you. All right. Have a good one.